the Shell with Creative Shell Bear. And today we are going to do a tag and some Distress Ink Blending. Uh, I cut this tag out using Tim Holtz dies, tag dies. Let me show you, show you the set. So I used the largest one. I don't know if you can see that. Use the largest one and then I went ahead and cut the reinforcer out. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and glue down the little reinforcement for the hole. Here's our tag and what I'm going to do is, like I said, I'm going to use some of the Distress Inks and the first one I'm going to use is Picked Raspberry and I'm just using my little dauber. I'm just going to lightly, you know, add some color. And this is just a white cardstock that I have. Maybe a little bit more color than that. some spiced marmalade. That'll just give me a little bit of orange. Holds Distress Ink by Ranger. going to kind of play and kind of deepen my colors so that they're richer. just a little bit of this blue jean, faded jean color. Not a whole lot, but I kind of was hoping I'd get a little bit of green, and I am. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Um, if you've ever watched any of my videos, you know that green is one of my favorite colors. Well, my favorite color. So I'm just kind of adding just a little bit of it, just to kind of give it a little bit more um, depth and dimension. I don't want to go too dark, but I really like how that's turning out. Okay, so now I'm going to do some water droplets. And on this one, we don't uh, let it set and then take it off, we're just going to leave the water droplets on there. It kind of adds another um, 
interesting effect kind of makes it you know gives these watermarks and stuff like that just kind of neat I think back with a little bit of the pink and just kind of highlight um, just a few of the little water droplet areas kind of add, add back some color How pretty I love that looks really you know distressed and uh, it's just a fun little technique okay so now I have this really cute it's kind of like a stent well it's a stencil but it looks kind of like doilies and it's a stencil by Tim Holtz so I'm just gonna put this on and then just kind of bring in a little bit of the lace and the design of the stencil and I don't want a really sharp edge so I'm just going to kind of put it over like to the corner and then just kind of go over you know in a couple a couple of little places you can kind of see it there let's try it up here where it's a little bit I don't have a lot of distress on my isn't that pretty though it just gives it so much dimension and you know I just really love that but if you do it like on a you know on a corner or something and don't have necessarily a straight line then um, it makes it look more organic and I really like that look okay I think I'm gonna add some maybe we'll add some more yellow just to see if we can't brighten it up just a touch We're going to use the same stencil. We're just going to put some mustard seed on it and just see if we can, you know, get another kind of, uh, another kind of color. It's kind of turning out green, which is fine with me. And I think I'm going to go ahead and go with the pink again, just to add a little bit more. And because pink is so bright, hopefully I can see that. I couldn't really see the yellow too much. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I think I'm going to do kind of like a large area right here. Just so you can really get a good definition of the stencil. She still didn't get much. <laughs> kind of looks like these funny little stripes. <laughs> Let's put some yellow or some pink up here. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I love that. Okay, and I'm just going to heat it with the Heat blaster just to set all the ink. <laughs> okay, so I have this stamp set that has like this solid black um, bird, and I thought that would be really cute on here. And so I'm going to use that and then I'm going to use some of the other, you know, just the little designs. And for that, I'm going to use the black soot. 
and I just want you know something that's going to pop and black on this should really look nice so and I think I'm just going to make sure I have it inked up really well just kind of have it up here in the air Very good, does it? Let's use our cable. I'm going to go with a blacker color, <laughs> darker color, and a permanent color, which is this archival jet black ink. And I'm just going to line that up. It's a good thing I have the try to get a better impression here. There we go. That looks really good. So and then I'm going to I have this little swirly design and I'm just going to put a few of those on here. go around the edges. This will be a perfect little, uh, <laughs> this will be a perfect tag for something in the fall. It's not so much what I was aiming for, but you know, you just have to kind of realize that and just kind of go on because it's still, I think, a beautiful tag. And I'm just going to frame it out with the black soot just to kind of ground it and just kind of make it look um, finished kind of like it's in a little frame okay and there it is and I'll put a little ribbon on it before I send it out but I think even though it wasn't exactly what I was aiming for, I think it turned out really cute. Hope you guys like it. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and you guys have a great day. Mm -hmm.